Hello and welcome back to another housing video for Final Fantasy XIV with Mimioni looking at the last few that we've missed off of patch 6.3 before I get carried away and lose track of time and then suddenly there's another patch of housing content. So let's get through this. Uh, there's another sub-aquatic voyage related item to look at. Um, I basically ended up leave, leaving these till last because of the way that the market was working in terms of getting you know, more stuff on the market. I did try to do this with my own submersibles, but my RNG is basically non-existent. Today we're looking at the classical water jug, which is a bit of a meme item. Apparently it's quite frequently obtained. I still hadn't got a single one. So that's the that's the joke on me, I suppose. I, I don't know why I try to even bother with submersibles these days. I should just, just go to the market board every time and get these videos done earlier. But it says, a, a simple yet handsome pitcher with a timeless design. So if you're wanting to get a hold of this, the classical water jug can be obtained from Lugart's Landing, which is a voyage in the seafoam tide. You will need a required rank of submersible of 101. It is a four star difficulty dive. So bear that in mind. Uh, obviously, you're going to need a, a submersible at a high enough rank to be able to do that. 101. So let's have a look at this item. We're actually in the old classic place that I used to show housing items, uh, mostly because I ha actually have room to, to place things here. So this is the jug. It's, it's not going to be anything other than just a jug, though. So don't don't expect miracles from this, but um, this is one of the other reasons why I didn't, you know, make a big fuss about it early on. Um, but there we go. That's the jug. I do like the the quality of, um, you know, the like artistry of this because it's got this kind of like stopper in the top. It kind of like just jams in the side of a jug. It's very like Roman almost like I don't know what kind of I'm not into pottery or <laughs> archaeology and stuff like that. But what would you say would be the era in real life of of such a pot? I have not a, not a clue, I'm afraid. I'm not a, a pottery person, um, but it does it like it looks like a stopper to me, like a crystal topped stopper or something. And then this long spout, very cool. Like maybe water would be in this, considering it's called a water jug, Mioni. But uh, I would probably put like I don't know, rum and coke in there. That'd be oh yeah. Yeah, imagine like just having a picture of that. But yeah, <laughs> that's kind of not what you're supposed to do. I do love the, the I kind of want this in real life. I'm not going to lie. I like the sort of ribbed decoration on the side of that. It's quite nice, actually. Would this be made of metal or porcelain? Probably porcelain, right? It's a nice item, right? There's there's not much to talk about on this one. So um, we're just probably going to leave it at that. Uh, the real question though, is it diable? I don't know because I didn't click on the, the actual icon. It is of course diable, yes. Okay, I totally knew that. So this is what it looks like default. And of course, uh, Snow White is, 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 it is Snow White basically. Uh, darker colors are gonna make it look like it has entered a void because of how the texture works. It's just, it's basically just been sucked out of reality with just soot black. Look, isn't that crazy? There's like hardly any reflections from this texture at all so the darker the color the more opaque it's going to look and the brighter the color the more it's gonna like actually come out like a real porcelain texture i suppose although porcelain is usually shiny like earthware oh my good look at that ruby red on this thing it just makes it this red silhouette it's almost like we've got night mode like night vision you know those night vision goggles with the red filter enabled <laughs> Bright yellow. Oh, that's disgusting. I love it. Brilliant. Oh, that is probably canary yellow. Looks awful on that. I would love to dye it that and then give it somebody if that was possible. Ah, oh, dear. But yes, it, it, it is a it is a water jug. Apparently quite a common water jug. So we're not going to beat around the bush too much. Oh, it looks quite nice in turquoise. But again, a nice thing to throw on some shelves, perhaps, you know, maybe a bit of decoration in the background of your house. Um, but with the housing limitations as tight as they are, I prefer things that are baked together, right? Where you have items that, uh, you know, do multiple multiple items together at the space of only one slot. Because otherwise you end up with 
you know like for example this dresser has a, a, a pot on it a frying pan jars a spice rack a chopping board two onions a knife some vegetables drawers cupboards you know you know what i mean whereas this this is just a it's just a water jug but anyway let me know what you think about this if you're excited don't know why you would be but i guess you would be some people might be really excited for the water jug let me know and i'll see you all next time for more videos uh once we get past the 6.3 housing stuff what we've got left to do i promise we'll be onto uh other <laughs> ideas beyond that much love enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you all next time Bye, boy boy